everybody. Welcome back to our Redox patient newsletter. You might remember this in very familiar face. He's Leonard Pastrana. He is the founder of New BioAge. Uh, he's a pharmacist. We call him our friendly neighborhood pharmacist. Uh, and also, he's if you remember from uh, the last time we did this video with him, he had that amazing, those two amazing protocols for the hair. We had quite a few of our patients do some massive, massive regeneration with their hair. So we brought him back when he launched his next product that um, some of you may already have. We've been talking about it for quite some time, uh, but we wanted to bring him on here to describe that product itself. Leonard, thank you again for joining us Thanks. and for taking the time to do this. By the way, we are in lovely veil for uh, Dr. Seeds' mastermind. So we've got about 60 physicians here in the same building. It's a lot of nerds happening. And the nerdy, one of the nerdiest ones is sitting right next to us. We love it. Uh, well, Leonard, thanks again for joining us. Can you tell me how you first got started with this product? And I'll, I'll just introduce it real quick. It is the iCell product um, and it's a cellular hydration product. But before we get into the, the details on that, why did you make this product, number one? And then how, what was that process like? Sure. So we had been going to a lot of masterminds like we're here today. And we, we realized that a key component of just anything that we were studying was hydration. And, um, and, and Dr. Seeds had talked about this formulation that he had made uh, a while ago, um, talking about the immune system, talking about performance. And it was this mixture of amino acids. And the reason he was using these amino acids was to improve the volume of the cell or actually hydrate the cell, not just get hydrated. And we, we all used it. We were, we were getting amazing results for all types of things, but it was, it was very tedious to make it because you had to get a specific amino acid, one scoop, and it was five different amino acids and creatine and put it together. You make this big mess. You had to keep it cold. And while it was doing some tremendous things, you know, patients were being compliant with it. I was a bad patient as well. I didn't stay compliant with it. But once we had that one IV hydration mastermind, we realized we, we have to bring this to patients and make it a lot easier. And so with the help of SSRP and faculty members and Dr. Seeds, we decided to go ahead and formulate this to make it to make it easy to stay hydrated. I'm so glad that you did, because even the previous one, it was kind of stinky yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you had to keep it really, really cold in order to even take it down. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, a very key component is you have to you have to make sure it stays cold. And you had to make it the day of, you know, and you can't, it's not something that could be sitting around in the sun because it, amino acids don't play together very well for a long period of time. And so there was a lot of, a lot of things we had to consider. And so that's why I decided to, to formulate this. That's phenomenal. Uh, I, I know around the office, Doc and Maddie had these baggies of the homemade stuff <laughs> that they would bring around and just bought jugs of coconut water. And it would just, you could smell them making it. <laughs> like um, it would linger after they've already taken their stinky jugs out of the um, uh, office kitchen. We know that they've been doing that. Um, yeah. So yes, this is a long time coming. So can you describe the ingredients of the products and some of those benefits? Sure. So there's specifically what they are is uh, neutral amino acid osmolites, fancy word for specific amino acids that draw water actually into the cell. And so some of those amino acids that do that are amino acids like alanine, glutamine, glycine. It also has leucine in there for a bunch of different benefits and also has creatine in there that also is an osmolite and brings water into the cell. And so these 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 amino acids has a, have a number of benefits when it comes to the immune system, when it comes to maintaining muscle mass and performance. But really why we're using it is because we want to improve the volume of the cell and, and bring that water into the cell to make sure the cell is hydrated. Because sometimes drinking uh, just drinking water just isn't enough. It's not enough. So yeah. does that mean when you're drinking water, and, and I drink a ton of water just by default, that, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm really hydrating myself, meaning hydrating my cells. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's a bunch of different components that can have an effect on that. Perfect example is where we're at right now here in Vail Mountain. So I, we made sure that we were drinking ice cell water all week long, because once you get up to these higher elevations, yeah. you start to go to the bathroom more, you start to get dehydrated. And we want to make sure that, that, that the volume of the cell is there. And so we were drinking, we, we made a little video we were making of uh, the ice cell water in the in the airplane when we were on our way over here making sure we brought it on this trip because if you've ever been to high elevations you, you tend to get a headache you tend yes. to your heart rate goes up yes. you know you feel horrible sometimes when you're not used to these higher elevations and hydration is such a key component of that and um that must be why because every time i come to veil right headache yep. but i've been drinking i sell now like, every single day yeah. but the, it just yeah. accidentally just like oh wow yeah 
So that, that's the, that's why we that's made it because cool. we kept on coming across all these things when we were back in the in the COVID days when we were trying to make sure we were putting ourselves in like the right spot to inhibit viruses. We realized that you know making the cell alkaline was important, so we were using ice cell water and these amino acids during that time. Some some patients that were losing weight too fast, maybe they lose a little bit of muscle mass to maintain that muscle mass. Oh, um, to wow. exercise better, definitely feel it when you're exercising. Your 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 strength, your power, the way you recover is so much better. And it just kept on coming up and up over and over again. But sometimes you get a little too fancy with all the science, and you start thinking about peptides and all these other cool things you can do, and you forget about such a key fundamental thing like hydration and um, and and then how important that is. And so we kind of took a step back and said, okay, let's make sure we're putting the cell in the ultimate state so that all these other cool things that we add on can work even that much better. That is phenomenal. So this this is a what about age wise? Like can can kids drink this? Is it good for them? Maybe have a different dose for them? Sure. So there there you know, it depends because there is some creatine in there. Wow. Um technically it's it's okay, but we always like to be very cautious with, mm -hmm. with kids. But this is one of those products that you know either, even in younger adult healthy patients can get find great benefit from it. They actually did a lot of studies with with improving intracellular water when it comes to athletes and improving oh. their performance, improving um, their the, uh, how high they jump. They found that those pay, uh -huh. those athletes that had more water intracellularly performed better and were stronger. And so when it comes to performance and muscle, there's there's applications you know everywhere. So even if it doesn't matter if you're healthy or even in elderly, they have patients in the elderly showing that um, that reduces the risk of frailty and improves their performance and their cognitive function. So it, this is a this is the one product that is for um, for everybody, for sure. Oh, wow. That's freaking cool. This is an area where I, I don't quite understand it because sometimes when Doc explains it, it's a little over my head. But he was at one point explaining at one of the masterminds that when when he was just kind of comparing the differences between a cell that is properly hydrated versus not properly hydrated, uh, this he was saying that it uh, more words than than this, of course. It's but it, what is it allowing the cell to do when it is properly hydrated versus not hi properly hydrated? For sure, yes. Yeah. So what 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 he was we're talking about is the volume of the cell. So when we can use these osmolites and this gradient that's formed to bring the amino acids. The, the water follows the amino acids into the cell. And so you increase the volume of the cell. So, and, so it's just getting bigger. Yeah, just getting bigger. Oh. Right. And when you increase the volume of the cell, then it's improving things like protein synthesis, the way that we um, make sure that our, our muscles are healthy. And, it, and, and it, mm -hmm. it inhibits things like protein degradation. This is why people lose muscle mass. This is why people don't perform as better. It also it puts this, the cell in this anabolic state um, to signal the way properly, the way it, it wants to. And anabolic state is what again? Anabolic state is the growth state, right? Ah. So we want we want the ability to grow muscle. We want the ability to cause things like protein synthesis that are going to be so beneficial to us compared to if you don't have that, you have cell shrinkage, right? And so once you're thinking about the cell kind of shriveling up uh -huh. and now it's degrading proteins, now it's negative towards your muscle. Now it is um, performing promoting fat gain instead of promoting fat loss. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah. So really it's the getting down to the basis of the cell and putting it in this ultimate state so it can go signal. And then when you add other lifestyle modifications and peptides and different compounds to that, that's when you get some pretty miraculous results is when we combine all these things together. So let me rewind to something you just said. Um, and it didn't just high click until you just said it. it was, this is perfect if you're on semiglutide. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's that was the uh, like moment of when we realized so many patients were on semaglutide, we were doing such a great job of losing weight. Wow. Um, but we were worried because people used to start as and you, you heard this, people yeah. were saying, oh, it's the semaglutide is causing people to lose muscle. Like yes. that wasn't the case at all. Yes. What was happening is that one thing that semaglutide does is it reduces your thirst intake or your thirst sensation. And so people started drinking less water. And what happened to the cells? They had that that shrinkage in cell volume. That's what was causing the degradation of protein and the negative effect on muscle it was just the hydration state of the cell, not the semaglutide. Semaglutide is doing amazing things. Mm -hmm. So when we add something like semaglutide and ice cell water together, it's perfect because they're losing weight, they're maintaining muscle, um, and we're just getting all these you know wonderful benefits. So that's the the most obvious you know use case um, with ice cell water for sure. I can I can see this applying to almost every single person, healthy person at our at our practice, such as just wanting to be healthier. Maybe mm -hmm. even some cases where 
like some tougher cases, like we have some neurodegenerative cases, it would be very beneficial for those cases as well. Yeah, absolutely. If you think about how, yeah. how important water is, when they've shown that when you decrease um, water loss by just two to three percent, it it has a function like cognitive function it has a bunch of uh, negative aspects of the brain, confusion. Um, and what do we see in our elderly patients and our yeah. neurocognitive patients? Um, they have a decrease in muscle mass. They have more confusion, more issues with cognitive function. So absolutely, uh, even from serious illness all the way to something as, as simple as aesthetics. What's one of the one thing that we're doing in aesthetics? Oh, yes. We want the skin to be hydrated. We want cells to be hydrated. If any of the other procedures that we're doing are going to even have a chance, the skin has to be hydrated. Um, cells have to be hydrated for, the, for that. So we see it anywhere from aesthetics to... Um, serious illnesses to just if you want to exercise and perform better in the gym. This is foundational. Then yes, it's, absolutely foundational. You, you just gotta, you just gotta have this in your life. Um, uh, it, and the way that it's packaged it is so much easier than getting all those separate compounds and like trying to mix it together that same morning. It tastes great. It yeah, tastes that was what we great. were yes. so worried about because yes. we know no matter how great a supplement is, if it doesn't taste good, yeah. people are not going to take it. Yeah. And so <laughs> uh, that was a number one priority for us. For yeah, sure. it's like a slightly pleasantly sweet, very, very slight. Um, and it almost gets a little bit of a little bit citrusy sometimes. I don't know. If it, I just happened to have an, a very acidic uh, tongue that day, but it's very drinkable. And I add it every single day. I have a 64 ounce you know, travel jug yeah. um, that those bodybuilders take around. And I just, one scoop of, of ice cell and I I'm good to go. I think size, 64 yeah. ounces, because what we tell our patients is we want to drink at least two liters, which is 64 ounces of water a day. If you're training or exercising more, you might need three or four liters, but you want to do it at a minimum of 64 ounces, because this isn't something that you put into your water and you drink quickly. This is something that you sip slowly throughout the day, because we want to keep that, that cell in that hydrated state. And so besides, mm -hmm. uh, besides putting it in enough water, you want to make sure that it's cold, right? Because if it gets warm, it'll smell yeah. like, <laughs> like it did back in, in, in the old days in the office, but making sure it's cold, making sure it's in enough water, slowly slip, uh, sipping it throughout the day and um, definitely feel the difference. Double wall thermo, 64 ounce. It's like 20 bucks on Amazon. So cheap. Um, but you mentioned just now that you want to keep the cell hydrated. So if you were to take that one scoop and put it in like one glass of water and you just kind of down it, that's just helping the cell at that one moment. Is that correct? Is that why you like to sip it throughout the day? Yeah, absolutely. We want that cell to be hydrated throughout the day to get the benefits all day long. Because, uh, you know, we're not taking peptides or we're not, we don't want our cells only signaling correctly uh, for a short portion of the day. Um, and so that's what we do it. There's no problem with taking it all in one day, but that's more of maybe like a performance or something that you would be doing uh -huh. to increase muscle. You know, so uh, a lot of pat uh, patients or people that are exercising, they're taking extra amino acids, extra protein, extra creatine during their workouts. Um, but this is this is one step further where <laughs> we're hydrating the cell all day long so that we're we're ready to to take on anything. Wow. Well. I feel like every single person needs to have this. We just we just restocked our stock of iCell. We were out for uh, for a little bit, um, and they can't keep it on the shelves, right? It's, it's like constantly their first thing that goes out. So, but Leonard has promised that whenever they get the stock back, that they will make sure to that Redox Medical Group is at the top of the list to get refills. So we got to thanks to this man right here. <laughs> okay, number one, number one on the list, of course. Uh, this, none of this would have been possible without Dr. Seeds. Dr. Seeds, he, yeah. he's, he's sure. but, I mean, where do we start with that man? Yeah. Uh, he's incredible. But um, this is this is such a great product. It, it makes a perfect stocking stocking stuffer, especially because of the shape, the cylinder, you know, that cylinder uh, shape fits right inside a stocking. Um, it, it, it's going to make a great gift. Um, so please make sure that you get this for your loved ones. I, I have my parents taking this already, um, especially because they're much older. So um, this is something that that is so easy to do and it tastes great. You're not going to get people saying that this tastes disgusting. So, it, and it's only going to benefit you. What are you waiting for folks? But anyway, yes, let us know if you want to order this email info at redoxmedicalgroup.com. Leonard, any last takeaways for this? No, I think, I think we covered we everything. This is great. I'm excited. <laughs>
uh, about this. And I, I'm excited to hear the stories when you share that with me as, as to the difference it's making in your patients. I can't wait to hear about them. Awesome. Well, folks, get this in your life today. It is going to be so great for you. All of us at the clinic have it. We have it ready to ship. And uh, yeah, place your order before we run out again. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you, Leonard. Thanks. We'll be back again. Bye. Bye.